guys, um, I just wanted to make a video and let you all know that I start my chemo treatment tomorrow. I have to be there at 7.30 in the morning and I live an hour away, so we'll, I guess, leave here about 6 to give a little bit of time to get there. Um, and I'm making this video just because I've had such a hard day and I want anybody that may be going through this treatment to not feel so alone and if you have a really hard time as it comes closer to, to your treatment I don't want you to feel alone that's very important to me I say that in all my videos but I guess it's because I have felt alone a lot and that's um that's a, a really that's a soft place in my heart that God has given me for people you know to not feel lonely to know that somebody cares about them whether it's it's through a YouTube channel or whatever, just to know you're cared about. And, you know, people, a lot of times people might think that if you're a Christian, well, you, God's got everything un under control and you don't have to worry about anything. We're human. We worry. The Bible tells us so many times not to worry, not to fear. Do you know why? Because he knew we would worry. We would fear. We live in a... A fallen world we anything can happen to anybody and it's it's only human to worry to, to be concerned about things to be troubled and today I was very troubled I went out with my mom to just spend some time with her and uh, we went you know we were just going out looking at some things I had to get a um, a satin pillowcase because you have they want you to sleep on one for your hair so we went out and ended up my nerves were so bad i had panic attacks i it was just the reality of having chemo tomorrow and it made everything seem so real and chemo you know it's not like you're going to go and be put on an antibiotic so if you or in, or in the place I'm in right now, if you have this upcoming and you're really troubled about it and you hear people say, oh, so-and-so went through the, that and they did fine, you have a right to worry. You have a right to concern. You have a right to feel however you feel. And you don't have to listen to that. This chemo is different on everybody. Nobody has the same side effects. And, you know, with my cancer, it was aggressive. So they treat it aggressively. And, you know, I know... I know that Jesus loves me. I know he cares for me. I know God, he He works miracles today, just like he always has. And I know he can, you know, nothing's impossible with him. But I also know that in this life, you will go through things. Um, and I feel like a lot of times, especially that's if you are a Christian and I don't mean you just say you're a Christian I mean you really love the Lord and you really your heart is for people that are hurting not people that are in church every Sunday that um you know never struggle to get to church that never you know have anxiety or panic attacks or feel depression and people that just seem like everything works out for them that's wonderful for them but for people that do not know the Lord or maybe you do know the Lord and you have been through so many hard things and you're you cling to him and then things happen and you don't understand and you think Lord I can't I can't do this I just want you to know you're not alone in feeling that way because I've been through a lot in my life and I I will I've thought a lot about it and I do know there's people out there that have been through um, some really horrible things and it's no wonder people are depressed it's no wonder people you know struggle with um, substance ab abuse and things like that it's no wonder and I feel like as Christians our job is to reach out to those people as best as we can because 
you know, if you see, if you see somebody that, you know, is um, addicted to drugs or something like that, don't be too quick to judge that person because that person could very well be the person that God intervenes in their life and saves and they could be the one that leads your child or your grandchild and guides them out of the pits of the addiction of drugs. So, you know, we need to not be too quick to judge people that, that battle depression and they have a hard time making it to church. We need to be Jesus to them. We need to come to them like he came to us. And we need to meet them wherever they are. And we need to tell them, you know, it's not our place to judge people. It's our place to show them love. And that is Jesus. And the Holy Spirit is the one that anything in their life, anything in our life, he will show us what we need to do. He will give us the strength to change it. That's not our job. That's not my job. My job is not to tell you, you're doing this, you're doing that. You don't need to do that. You know what? I have enough on my own. I have to pray every day. God have mercy on me. I have to lay things at his feet every day. Things that trouble me. Things that, um, you know, I'm human and we all, we all struggle with different, um, different things. And, um, I just think Christians, church people who really are blood-bought Christians, we need to do better. We need to do better in reaching people who are hurting because, you know, you can say, well, you know, they need to be in church or they need to lay alcohol down or they need to lay the drugs down or um whatever kind of lifestyle they're living you don't know what what they may be using that to numb what what pain they have that they may be using that to numb their self from and if you're listening and you struggle with anything like that if there's something some type of pain you have that you were trying to numb I'm telling you from experience, I understand. I can understand where, how you would get to that point where you would want relief however you can get it. And my heart goes out to you so much because I could very well be, you know, in that place. I just want, I just want to help you all and you know, these videos, like I said, they're not for everybody. They're for people who are hurting and people who need somebody to come and tell them, you need Jesus. You need Jesus. The Holy Spirit is the one that will show you, look, this is hurting you. This is not good for your life. This doesn't line up with the Bible. And he's the one that can give you strength to get rid of that. And you can live a, a godly life. And... It's an everyday thing. And anybody that tells you that they don't have to pray every day, God have mercy on me, forgive me, I wouldn't take any advice from them, to be honest with you. I wouldn't take any advice from anybody who doesn't admit that they fall short of the glory of God every day. I do. And um, I just tell you that, you know, today I had a really hard time thinking, you know, from the things that I've been through, which I honestly am surprised that I have lived through. And maybe, not maybe, I know I'll share that with you one day. But that'll be later. I can't, I can't go into that right now because it's, it's too much for me. I need to just try to stay focused on trying to do my treatments and everything and then um you know get through that and I apologize I look I look like a mess because I've just cried all day and my nerves have been shot to shingles so I'm really afraid 
I'm really, really afraid about going in tomorrow for treatment. You know, I wanted to make, I thought I want to, you know, find some scripture and put it on a shirt. And I thought maybe, like maybe somebody in there that's having treatment, you know, they might see it and it might be, it might let them just think about the Lord. But to be honest with you, I've been too, I've just been too tired to do that. So I thought, you know, it's so much better. I know during COVID and everything, you know, why not just sit, you know, while you're doing treatments and pray for them. You know, or, or with the mask on, you know, say something to them. To encourage them. And uh, you know, we live in a time people need encouragement. People need to see Christians acting like Jesus. We need to see that. I am a Christian and I need to see that. I need to see people that I know that say they are Christians really, really, you know, reaching out. And saying, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm praying for you. or uh, write, And honestly, writing a letter, you have no idea what that means to me. The card, you know, that's that's a long lost art. You know, writing letters and put, putting them in the mail. And I just, um, you know, I've had my kids do that. I've had them write, you know, pick somebody. Just pick somebody randomly that you want to write a letter to and they've wrote letters to and and mail them and I think that needs I need I think we need to start that back I think social media you know it's wonderful for some things but I think we need to start that back and I'm guilty of that too I'm I really am I'm truly guilty of that too of not just really taking the time and reaching out to people and helping them and trying to lighten their load a little bit and I won't I don't want to make this too long because I have to get up early and um, I dropped, I was going to show you these earrings my mom bought me. I just dropped one of them in the floor, but they're, I love earrings and she bought me these. I thought, where am I going? I thought they were so cute. They're pink. They're so pretty. If you can see them. She bought me the, these um, from the gift shop at the hospital. And she, I just thought they were so cute. So pretty. But I just, um, try to get some sleep tonight. I'm really nervous. I'm going to take some melatonin and hope that, hope that I can sleep. I mean, I honestly can feel like my heart rate in my neck. But, um, I just want you to know that you're not alone. I'm not alone. I, I really don't understand, you know, what God is going to get out of this, how he's going to use this. Me having, you know, cancer and going through these treatments. I don't know how he's going to use this. I don't know what the purpose is. And I told him, I, I just feel like I'm not able. I really feel like I'm, I'm not able to bear this. It's too much for me to bear. But God is God. He's on his throne. And he will be there with me. And when I go for my treatment tomorrow, he will be right there with me the whole time. Because there's a lot of things, you know, that I don't know and I don't understand, but I do know that he loves me. And I have known that, you know, since I was a little girl and I've been through a lot of things that would make you feel like maybe he didn't love you. Because we're human. But 
I just wanted to let you all know and hopefully prayerfully everything goes good tomorrow and that my body reacts as best as it can to the chemo and if you're going through the same thing my heart is with you my prayers are with you I love you God loves you and um, I just uh, want you to know if you're feeling all these things that I'm feeling you're not alone you don't have to be Wonder Woman you know you can just you can be afraid you can be scared you can I mean I had panic attacks and couldn't I had to catch my breath you're not alone if you're if you're feeling the same way you're not alone and I just want you to know that and um, I, you know if you want to message me or you know write to me or whatever I'm an open book. You can ask me anything and I'll, I'll tell you the best of my ability. I do want to show you one more thing. My son bought me this and um, I'm going to take it with me. I know I talked in another video about how much I love the Golden Girls and I've loved them since I was, to be honest with you, I've, um, I've loved them since I was a toddler. And this is a little bag he bought me. And I wanted to put um, some things in it to take. I just thought it was really sweet. But I love you. I pray everything goes smooth for you. And I pray you have peace and you have comfort. And that you know you're loved. Jesus loves you. He'll go with you through every treatment, every procedure. He'll be there with you at night when you're awake and you can't sleep when you have friends who just suddenly disappear he'll step in he'll be there and um i just want you to know that and i will uh, update you tomorrow on how everything goes and i'll talk to you then